Hello guys, Halo Arca here. We're back with part two of our Unity 3D tutorial. Um, today we're going to be going a little bit um, deeper into the Unity 3D interface and a little bit into more of um, actual um, game development. Uh, I apologize if I start to ramble. I'm sort of doing this off a um, not off any kind of script, so I may start to get off topic, and uh, I'm working on fixing that. So um, let's just get right in. Um, if you'll notice right now, this isn't really much of a game. If we were to click play, um, it's not really a game, it's more of just like a, um, a little scene here that we have. So um, we're going to try and uh, make things a little bit more interesting. So um, the way Unity works is um, basically everything that happens in your scene that's any um, bit complicated revolves around scripting. So um, if you want to create, if you want to get something done, chances are you're going to need to um, uh, use some sort of script for that. So uh, how you do that is you can either go up to here and I believe it is create JavaScript um, I don't I'm not gonna go into C sharp boo um, either of those we're just gonna go straight to JavaScript or what I like to do is go down to create JavaScript and then let's name this um, uh, new script um, now if you open it up in um, Windows it should open mono develop or something um, Mac it might also I have it set to uh, uh, Unitron, uh, which is it comes with Unity. It's built in. It's really simple, so I just like to keep it this way. Oops. Um, yeah, sorry. That's cause that's my full screen mod. Don't worry about that. Uh, so basically, the way this program works is it's just like a simple text editor. Uh, I'm trying to type around my microphone here. Um, so you know you can just type in whatever you want, but you will notice that uh, certain things will be uh, color coded. So if I turn, if I type in if, it will turn orange. If I type in variable, it'll turn orange. If I put something in parentheses, it'll turn red. Um, this is just a way to keep things organized in your script, so you know exactly what everything is doing at the current time. Um, so basically, let's let's think about the first thing you have to do before you start any kind of coding is to think about what you're trying to do. So um, what do we want to do here? Um, let's just say we want our cube. We want our cube that is now over there to. Um, uh, reload the level when we walk into it. So that's that's pretty easy. So we're going to go to our Unitron or whichever program you're using and we're going to first um, do variable. Variable is just something in the game that um, it can be changed at uh, you know basically at any time and it's just a way to like plug in objects and stuff into your game without having to um, uh, use specific objects so it allows for a little bit of um, flexibility so um, we're gonna go variable um, let's see actually let's just go if um, if is just like basically what it means if something happens so if um, actually I'm sorry uh, we're gonna go function uh, function is like um, can't really explain it but uh, I'll put a link in the description to an article on function um, on trigger enter. Um, what on trigger enter is, is if we go back to our scene, uh, we click on our cube, you should see over here it says is trigger. If we select trigger and we click play, our um, cube will no longer have any kind of um, collider and we can walk right through it. But what this does is it acts as a little detector so that it knows if anything, um, you can basically use this to tell if something's touching your cube. Um, so we're going to go back to uh, Unitron and folks are on trigger enter um, uh, let's see put that um, parentheses other which would be our the other object that's colliding colon collider um, I'm just doing this off the top of my head and uh, you, cl you always have to close off parentheses whoa oh whoa, sorry um, you always have to close off parentheses um, you'll notice if you put uh, parentheses there uh, the other one will blink um, just so that you know that you're closing it off and then every um, every time you have a function or something you're gonna need to add a uh, bracket I believe it's called so that it knows um, what to do if this happens so um, then we're gonna do if um, other dot tag um, equals equals 
Uh, I actually got someone on the uh, Unity 3D forums to tell me that this should be something else. Um, and in the annotation, I'll tell you what to put there and if that'll work or not. Um, but until then, you just put equals equals, and then we're gonna put um, let's see player, and close that off, and put this, and then we're gonna go. Okay, so what do we want to happen? So we want application dot load level, which basically means like load a level that's in our built settings. Um, parentheses um, application dot loaded level and uh, what this does is this will take um, this will load a level and it'll load the level that was last loaded which basically means it'll reset our level so that's how you, um, you you restart a level let's say you have a respawn system and you want your character to start at the beginning of the level instead of having it like um, change to a specific level you just do application dot loaded level and it should take your character back to the one they were on um, we're going to close that off with a semicolon, which is what you have to do for anything that is not a um, dependent. And then we're going to go to print, I believe it's caps, yeah. Um, let's just say uh, level reloaded. Now, uh, what this does basically is um, it prints to our console. Uh, if we go to Unity, um, if we have an error, a little box will come up that'll uh, give us a little heads up on anything we have wrong or anything we print to the console so that's basically what that does and then uh, once you're done with the code you have to put um, opposite brackets uh, to close off it to close it off so that it knows when to stop uh. okay I'm back sorry I had to do something there um, okay so back to where we were um, uh, these brackets close off a script so um, if you ever have one here you need to have one at the end so that it knows when to stop okay um I'm just going to save that and see if we get any errors. Um, yeah, see here? This is our console, so I believe this should be um, not capital P. So there we go, showed you the console. But see, now when you fix the error, nothing shows up. Um, I'm actually going to put this over here just so that it'll be a little easier for us. Um, but now if we click play, not pause, play, or no, actually we have to do something first. Um, remember over here, um, if other dot tag equals player, well we need to actually make that happen for us. So we're going to go to tag, change it from untagged to player. Player is a built-in one, um, so that's always safe if you're going to be just doing a basic player scene. So click player, and now if we click play, um, and we walk into this, we should get an error of some sort, or nothing will happen. Okay, um, I. No, I know why now. Um, we didn't actually apply this to anything, so we're going to have to drag this to our cube object. Um, I forgot about this. Um, JavaScripts, you just simply drag them to an object. It's pretty simple. And um, all the options for that script will show up in our inspector panel. Now, if we click play. Okay, if you see over here, um, level minus one couldn't be loaded because it's not been added to build settings and level reloaded um, which is our print so basically it's saying that what we were trying to do um, it tried to do it but uh, there was no level to load so basically what that means is um, it's trying to load the level but there isn't a level there because um, excuse the background noise so um, sorry um, you're gonna go to um, file build settings and um, add current and then it should work now. I'm doing this all off the top of my head, so excuse me if some things don't work. Yeah, okay, what we need to do here is, um, uh, this this won't generally, for the most part, won't work on first on our first level. So we're just going to click, for this we're just going to set it to zero first, uh, and I'll explain this in a second. So when we click play, um, it should work now. See this? Um, in the corner you should see it's saying level reloaded every time the level reloads and the reason why it wasn't working is because what that does is it loads the last level that you loaded and we haven't ever loaded a level so now we should we should be able to change it back we just um, save that and it should still work okay let's just try this nope um, 
because we are on level zero. Um, so let, we're just for right now we're just gonna keep this at zero. But that's not really the point of this video. It's just that this is basically how um, coding works in Unity for very very basicness. Um, you basically just have if, and then if this happens, then this happens. And with this happens, there's just a million bazillion things you can put here, um, depending on what you're trying to achieve. So um, now that we have that, um, let's see, what's my running time? Um, 16 minutes. Ooh, God. Okay. Um, I'm going to end it here. Uh, this might be a little short, but uh, I hope you enjoyed. And please subscribe, rate, comment. And uh, if you didn't watch part one, uh, then I recommend you watch it so this will make a little bit more sense. Um, if you're a little bit more advanced and you want to do something more interesting then I have a tutorial on how to create a system for points so that your character will collect points and they will level up. Um, that's in its part one stage right now but you can still go and watch that so um, I recommend you do that if you want to um, go a little bit more advanced. Um, it requires some basic knowledge but um, nothing too crazy so if you want to just go over there and uh, head over there and check that out annotation somewhere on the screen and um, yeah I'll see you later so please comment rate subscribe and all that stuff and I will see you later